Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to find out how to become an unforgettable woman in a very simple way, stick around because I'll be sharing with you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you how to become an unforgettable woman. Almost everyone in the outside world is knocking at your door, trying to sell you something to become unforgettable, whether it's a tight pair of jeans, a special shake, a way of showing yourself in a sexy way. But the truth is, to become really unforgettable, there's a few things you can do that are free, that don't require for you to change your size or become more sexy or do anything other than be yourself and can dramatically enhance how deeply you can remain in the heart of a man. <laughs> and I'll be sharing four of those with you today. The first one is pretty simple, it's embrace your quirkiness. And what do I mean by that? Everyone in the world has special things that make them unique and special, but some people like to express them. Some people, most people like to shy away from them because it's something that is unique and vulnerable. But if you're able to very courageously come out into the world and embrace the things that make you unique and crazy, even if it looks silly, even if it doesn't look super sexy, but you're real, you're heart-centered, you're human, you're humble, that creates a very different side of you in the eyes of a man. And that allows the man to create that feeling inside his heart that he can be himself as well. So it's very, very powerful. Number two is let your playful side come out. This is so important because so many women today are playing the serious card, the intellectual card, the spiritual card, the sexy card, but they're not being playful. And men, every single man out there is a child at heart. And I'm talking from personal experience. So I can tell you that if you are able to embrace your quirkiness, but at the same time, you can enter a relationship, enter a friendship, enter a human communication with playfulness, then you're gonna completely stand out from other women who are too afraid and not courageous enough to let that part of them that makes them feel alive inside, that connects them to the hearts of other people show up. <laughs> so that's number two. Number three is do not hold back your eyes. And this is a metaphor for something else. So what do I mean by do not hold back, back your eyes? I mean, allow your heart to experience whatever it's experiencing. And more importantly, allow your eyes to show it. When you hold back your eyes, that means that you're holding back what you're feeling in your heart and you don't want the world or the man in front of you to see it because it makes you feel that if you were to see what's inside, the darkness, the pain, the everything you've gone through, your aliveness, that he would feel that you're not worthy. So here's a kicker. If you don't hold back your eyes, if you express your light, your radiance, your fear, your insecurity, everything that you have as a woman through your eyes, then if the guy doesn't have what it takes, he won't stay. But if the guy is the kind of man that can hold space for you, he will stay and he will want to connect with you more because all of a sudden, just like the previous one, it allows him permission to be honest, okay? So don't hold back your eyes, connect to your heart, be willing to share everything that you're feeling <laughs> through your expressiveness. Number four, be radically kind with yourself. And so what a concept. How can be radically kind with yourself allow you to stand out in the heart of a man? Well, very simply, when you're really kind to yourself, when instead of being a bitch to yourself, when instead of punishing yourself for not being perfect, for not having the perfect size body, for not being an amazing woman in every spectrum and every mark on the page, when you allow yourself to be kind, regardless of your errors, regardless of your past, when you eliminate shame from your life, what happens is you can connect to a man and you can allow him to be himself. You can allow him, you can see him with the same lack of judgment that you see yourself with. So when you see yourself without judgment, you can see him with lack of judgment, he's going to experience something that is gonna hit him in the head and the nuts at the same time, but he won't know what hit him, but he will feel incredibly drawn to you, incredibly compelled to be with you, because all of a sudden in his mind, in his heart, he connects with someone who gets him, someone who's not trying to change him, someone who's not trying to make him wrong for who he is. Doesn't mean that you don't share, if he's doing something that you don't like, that you don't share it, but it means that predominantly you don't wanna change him. You accept yourself so much, do you can now accept a man into your life the way he is. And that is the best fucking gift you can give to a man because that man will be indebted to you for life. 
So there you have it, four very simple and elegant ways to become unforgettable as a woman. If you find this is helpful, useful, insightful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link right here, you're gonna see a link that allows you to sign up to a free live webinar that will guide you through a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's free. If you have any questions for me, leave me a comment uh, here and I promise to respond to each one personally or even create a video just for you. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.